Are you looking for a challenge that doesn't involve kilometers of pavement pounding, but will shape you up quite literally? Zaki tried some dance steps with the Oriental Fire performers and found out about their Bollywood ambitions. Described as a collaboration of performers with a shared passion for Bollywood, hula and belly dancing, Oriental Fire presents some of the most toned tummies in the business. Based in Gauteng, members of the company have performed all over Africa, showing just how popular these styles have become. Belly dancing is one of the more exotic styles Bollywood choreographers have come to use. I mean, who could forget Katrina Kaif, Helen and Rani Mukherjee shaking their bellies? I've come to hear of a local dance troupe who have set their sights on the Mumbai industry. And that's why I'm here to meet Oriental Fire. The company hopes to make a breakthrough into the world of Indian cinema. Which is how Zaki bumped into an old friend hard at work behind the camera. Yeah, nice to see you again. Good to see you behind the camera again. Oh yeah, what I do. Making audition tapes for Bollywood? <laughs> like I said, it's what I do. <laughs> the dancers have a multicultural makeup and come from a variety of backgrounds, including Denmark, the Philippines and South Africa. While founder, choreographer and manager Tina Kapp is a Hong Kong-born Australian who's lived on every continent except Antarctica. Tina, tell me about Oriental Fire. Well, it's been such an amazing thing to watch grow from just our first little group in my garage practicing to something that's just exploding. You've got the silks doing Bollywood up in the air. We're using violin remixes and covers of Bollywood songs. So it's things that people have never seen here before. And it's just so much fun, you know, taking it to a new direction and making us push ourselves and grow. And what got you interested in belly dancing? So when I came from Uganda to South Africa, I went to Pretoria and I didn't see a big Indian community that I expected when I had first seen videos and friends from Durban telling me about it. So rather than start right away in the Bollywood, I started developing the belly dance, which I saw was very popular here with women for their you know, holistic values, so good for their exercise and self-confidence and all that. Um, I started being the regular dancer at a Turkish restaurant, which was lovely, and I loved it so much, but I kept telling people that I really had a passion for Bollywood. And so eventually we started thinking we really got to bring it back. We kind of started with one song, sending out a few pictures to agents, and people just went nuts, because it was a huge thing in the market. People hadn't seen professional Bollywood groups. There's a lot of schools at the time, there was a lot of student groups, family members having a cousin dance, but people who really took it to the next level in the costuming and that. So that was really fun to see. Plus, of course, we're not Indian, so seeing someone who so embraced the lyrics and the translations when choreographing was something quite different. I saw Kumar and Naidu was filming you earlier on. Tell us about the showreel you're putting together. Well, we actually do get a lot of inquiries from different movie producers or directors or show producers who get our number when looking for Bollywood dancers in South Africa, and that's been very exciting. So we want to do something that showcases a bit of what we're doing here as a group, what makes us different, and obviously the blend of the Bollywood and belly dance that we're quite unique for. And of course, being huge fans of Bollywood, if we had to work with famous actors and dancers, we would not be sad. Speaking of which, I've got to ask, who are your favorite Bollywood stars? Definitely Rithik Shah Rukh Khan. Um, I'd love to meet Jacqueline Fernandez, who's a great dancer. But really all of them because, oh, and Farah Khan, I want to meet the choreographer because she's just amazing. Do you think that South African dancers can match the best dancers internationally? Oh, definitely. The talent I've seen here has actually been quite incredible. From a very young age, dance has been very, um, very well supported, I'd say. I see um, very passionate hip hop dancers, contemporary dancers, Latin and salsa dancers that we've had the privilege of performing with. Everything to Malungu, where the white girls do pantsula. There's no limit. I would love to see them do more on an international stage. And do you have any advice for aspiring dancers out there in any style? You have to start somewhere. And if you think about something, if you had started it last year, how good you'd be now, that's what you have to keep remembering. So yes, you'll feel stupid, you'll look dumb, but then in a year from now, you'll look back and you'll do stuff you never thought was possible. Please, can you teach me some moves? Absolutely. Yay! <laughs> Since the company's inception, it has performed at several international events and with acclaimed dancers, such as Sashin Kendai. What are we starting with? Okay, so we're gonna teach you the little choreography okay. we do with the candle trays on our head, but okay. we'll start with out. One, two, three, four, and undulate. So you're lifting with your chest. Back, Other way. two, three, four, lift with your chest. And then it's a hip bump. One, two, three, four, little circle. Nice, switch sides. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, sit, tuck, lift. I got it! <laughs> well done. I don't look as good as you, but I just need one of these outfits. Definitely, makes all the difference. Ah. Traditionally, the costume is known as a bedla, which is an Arabic word meaning suit. There's more to a belly dancer's outfit than just a bare midriff. And Tina has created a mini collection inspired by Bollywood. I suspect the temperature in Mumbai is gonna rise. <laughs> Tina, tell us about your costume. The Bollywood and belly dance is so much fun because there's so much variety and obviously lots of bling. So the first one we actually got as an idea from a gown off of an Indian fashion show. It had this amazing crisscross, we couldn't figure it out. So we put it into a way where we could wear it as pants, but it still has the slit and so it's very easy to move on stage, but you get that fabric. And we get the fabric from Uganda, which has the most amazing stuff ever. For the belly dance costumes, we use Tanya De Jong, a friend of mine who hand makes every belly dance costume. She's a dancer herself so she knows how you want it to move what the feed looks like on stage for the last one we actually took it was a uh, chori we saw that just had this interesting angle we wanted something modern on top to bring it up to date but then use the proper sari material at the bottom so each girl has different color skirts so on stage it's just this bonanza of color like you want on Bollywood and that's so much fun and when we dance with the silk veil it's just beautiful the dancers enjoy the freedom of expression that characterizes contemporary Bollywood style choreography. And in the process, they're taking belly dancing to a new level with even more color, movement, and energy. Whoever called it belly dancing seriously got it wrong because this art form can give anybody part the starring role. I'm amazed at the freedom and control Tina and her dancers can show. And if Mumbai is looking for something different, these ladies will light up the screen.